Hey, welcome to this series of videos where I create an app from scratch. This is part three. In this video, I will show you how I added two features, zoom and pan, to the MindMapper app. So let's take a look at a brief demo. Here I can open any map. I can drag the canvas to pan and place the map anywhere in the screen. And also can zoom with two fingers. I can do zoom and pan together as well. Quite seamless. Just to remind, if you'd like to see the live coding, you should join my Twitch stream every Saturday at 3 p.m. GMT for an hour. There you will see me trying to implement these features in raw form. I don't always get things right or complete, but struggling is um, it's a part of the process. What you see here is the completed work where I fixed the bugs and corrected a few things. So let's quickly take a look at um, how this was done. All of these changes reside in two files, um, mindmap widget and mindmap painter. Uh, previously, we had our gesture detector attached to our widget. There we had a few handlers attached. For zoom and pan, we will attach three more handlers. They are on scale start, on scale end and on scale update. Let's take a look at these handlers. First is to look at how pan is implemented. This is done using uh, focal point property uh, of the callback argument scale update details. So in this function, we have um, scale up details and we have a property called focal point. Let's just print the focal point and see what we see as values. For that, I will just comment these all out. And we are printing this over here, the focal point. I can make use of that over here. And let's just run it and see. Okay, so we have something here. And when we try to as you can see, when we try to pan horizontally or vertically, these offset values change. So we're not doing any kind of zooming at the, at the moment, but these uh, values change, uh, telling us that focal point is the um, pointer position while dragging and, and zooming. So uh, we will get to the zooming bit in a bit. <laughs> we will get to zooming uh, in a bit. So what we do here is that when a scale operation starts, note down the focal point on previous focal point variable. So this is the start handler. So we get the details uh, focal point and then we set it to previous focal point. And then on the update, we compute over here. Let's uh, I'll comment this. Let's read this in this part. I will comment out the scaling. So what this means is that we get the difference between the previous focal point and the current focal point, and then we added that to the uh, canvas start, which is an offset we have initialized that to zero, zero. Uh, and then we update the uh, previous focal point with the current one so that we can do that again. Let's see what happens to canvas start. So we are sending it as a constructor parameter to mind map painter. Let's jump into the mind map painter and take a look um, how it is received. Here we receive the start value as a second parameter of the, in the constructor. Uh, ignore the scale for the moment. We'll get to that in a bit. So in the canvas start, uh, this is, our plan is to set the starting position of our drawing. So that can be done in the paint. So let's take a look at the paint function. Uh, there are two methods here, uh, draw background and draw cells. Uh, ignore the scale part. Uh, draw background is just drawing the background so that this doesn't have any effect on that. We're going to draw cells. In draw cells, we compute the center parameter or center variable. 
So this was there already, right? And what we only have to do is to add the canvas start because all our drawing was uh, based on the center uh, variable and draw cell. Uh, all these things are based on the center. So when we add the offset camera start, it automatically does the job. So let's take a look. All right, go in there. Yes, so we can pan it around. Remember, we cannot uh, zoom it. Um, we were able to interact with these things earlier. So, for example, we double tap on that and then edit. So, uh, and then single tap to add something. Uh, so, we were able to do those things. Now, let's see after panning. Let's see somewhere here. We, can we still do those things? Yes, we can. So great, now we have panning. Not only that, we were uh, able to interact with the nodes just like before. Great, now let's jump back to gesture handlers uh, to see how the zooming was done. So gesture handlers right here, uh, we have these things, uh, scale start, da da da. Let's go into the scale update. Right, so here we are. We start with uh, the scale variable set to one. In the, in the scale start handler, we save that to the previous uh, scale variable, pre uh, variable scale variable, because we're gonna be changing the scale variable on the scale update handler. So in the scale uh, update handler, uh, we update the scale variable with the prev scale, prev, uh, previous scale times the uh, it's the scale that we receive from the the callback uh, parameter. Um, so this is because we could start with some scale factor already set, and we want to continue scaling from there, not from the from the beginning. And when when the scale operation ends, we set the prev scale to null over here. And notice that uh, focal point is also set to null. So this is a good way to uh, no, note, denote that our operation has finished. But still we have to maintain these scale values, otherwise it will revert back to non-scale mode uh, once the operation finishes. So this is done in scale variable over here. Uh, and we pass this uh, as a parameter to the painter. So let's take a look at the painter. Yes, we pass that in. Let's take a look at the constructor here. Up here, the canvas scale. So that is set to a double. And in the paint method again, uh, we saw this already, but I'm gonna explain this. So it's a matter of scaling the canvas. So it's a, it's a matter of a canvas uh, dot scale. And then uh, there are two parameters that you can set. Uh, since we want scaling to be uh, uniform, uh, we pass in the same scale. Okay, you see this uh, save and restore over here, but since we don't have more operations after this, there's no need to call those things, so we can safely ignore these parts. So that's it, that's that's all there is to uh, the scaling, but that's not the end, because once you change the uh, coordinate system with scaling, our interaction logic will no longer work. Uh, so to fix that, we need to go back to the widget and adjust the tap, double tap, and long tap functions. These functions that we have, it's double tap, uh, long press, double tap, and then uh, on tap. So these are the functions that we used earlier to uh, add things and delete things and edit things. So let's take a look at the delete, which is uh, done in long press end. Um, it's a matter of, this is so easy. It's a matter of dividing the local position. So that's the pointer position, uh, dividing that with the scale. Uh, we have to do this everywhere that we make use of the local position. So that's a delete node. Uh, this is the other position where we search the node with the uh, point position when uh, in the double tap, which is to create a new node. 
uh, that has to be scaled down and also the single tap uh, this is to add a new node so the local position has to be scaled down as well so once that is done we can do the scale uh, zoom and pan so let me i think yeah we already have the scale previous scale the scaling uh, setup over here so this should uh, just work so let's right work with plan now i'm gonna go into the uh, zooming mode now for the simulator i have to press Control command k so that i have pointer in there so now i can pan zoom uh, so let's see if this still works so yeah that's uh, adding to nodes and double tap edit that's great uh, and let's see how this will work when we zoom so we zoom okay uh, right so we can zoom and see, double tap yes it still works um, add the new node still works uh, okay so these all these things work uh, that's great but there is uh, there's a slight problem here in the zooming because it doesn't zoom uh, around the point pointer so this is something uh, that I will have to fix and I'll come back to it uh, this it is more involved than uh, what we have right now so that's uh, that's something that we need to do uh, later so that's it for this uh, episode thanks for watching join me next time to see how I add um, screenshot save feature if you want to see the live coding stream that will be at 3 p.m. GMT on twitch details in the description if you like what I create, please uh, like, share and subscribe to the channel and uh, until next time.